everyone knows that sunset is one of the best times to take pictures because the sun is nice and low, you get nice long shadows, beautiful bright orange or yellow light illuminating everything. However, to really enhance those pictures, what you really want is something in front of the sunset, something that becomes silhouetted by those bright clouds and the sun itself behind it. And it's a very easy picture to take because by exposing for the sky automatically, the camera will automatically turn that foreground into a nice dark silhouette. So what I've done here is just walked up and down the beach until I've lined the setting sun up with this structure, this metallic structure that's out to sea, this old pier. And all I need to do now is just frame the shot. So I've walked left and right along the beach until I've lined the sun up with this structure which I want to become a silhouette. And I'm quite happy that the sun is so bright, it's going to force the camera into exposing for the sky. The sky is going to look nice and colourful and it's going to ensure that this structure is going to be a nice black silhouette. The only thing that I'm going to do here though is zoom in. I'm going to go for this two times view because I think it looks a bit nicer and I can concentrate on the clouds. Now if the clouds were more colourful higher up I'd go for a wide hour angle but here it looks great. So I'm just going to take some pictures. Notice how there's some reflections of the sun in the sea and you may only see that at certain points when the waves crash over. So it's important to keep taking pictures in the hopes that you get one that you like the look of. And don't forget that even though it looks like the sun has now gone behind some clouds, it could peek out at the last minute. So always stick by your location and be ready. In this first shot, I've gone for the wide angle lens and this allows you to capture a large amount of sky, which is perfect if you've got some really big colourful clouds. Now I've got a little bit up here, but it's not the best looking sunset for that. So I'm going to reject this picture and have a look at some which I took with the lens zoomed in a bit. So I much prefer this shot. In fact, this is one of my favourites. This is just with a two time zoom and I caught the moment where this wave is just crashing over and just by pure chance, the line of the wave is parallel almost to the line of this cloud above. It gives it really nice symmetry on either side of the pier here. And here's another one that I quite like the look of because I've captured a moment where the sunlight is actually reflecting off the waves themselves. And you get some really nice colourful parts on the sea here. It just gives the eye a bit more to look at on the frame. So you may prefer that kind of picture. And of course, you can post more than one at a time. And these are also the kind of pictures that respond very well to filters. So do have a go at some of your different filters when you post them. If you boost the contrast or saturation so that they become more colourful and the blacks become darker and the whites become brighter, that can give it a really nice impact. Oh.